This is game number 11. On the tee from the USA, Max Homer. There's a real beacon for the US side at Marco Simona, the best player, the only player on the US side to go all five matches, and rightly so. Just such a joy to have him here with us this week in South Africa. Yeah, I love his game. He drives the ball so well. He's a calm player. I think it suits him very much out there this week. It's just amazing. I don't know how it happens. You actually said you've been coming here 100 years. 128, this lie is fantastic. Angle's fantastic as well. Someone's on fire this morning under the ridge. Something to do with the water, Tony. Possibly, possibly. We need some of it, Radar, if that's the case. A couple hundred metres from uh, this green, the first. Radar's down there. Straight up <coughs> quite slow. This boy will feel at home being a cowboy, Californian. Kakuyu Fairways. He's won at Riviera, lost in a playoff as well. Kakuyu. So he's, he'll, he'll feel right at home. Bunkers down the right-hand side don't come into the equation. The bunker down the left-hand wing, that is a little pop bunker, no reachy from there. The fairway camber's from left to right, and the fairway has been cut in on the left, so it's a little narrower this year. Aiming down the left, trying to peel it. Good job, Max. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Doesn't miss many. Max Homer. Pretty average swing, that Anthony. That, yes. Yeah, that, I can't see it happening Max. for me. You? Oh man, what a swing! Great move. <laughs> It'll take a good one to get there. You might think this is going to jump a little. I'm not sure it will. What would be a good one? Front edge, and it's a narrow gate. Yeah, he's beautifully aiming, just parallel left, using the slope. Uncomplicated. Flushed. Called early. That's fine, that's good there. That's a good play. Loads of green to play with. Down to two. Homer. Yeah, just pitching on the front, running across the slope. A little bit of work left to do, but under the hole. One of my favorites. Been coming here since I believe 1986, and uh, played a tremendous amount of golf here. Just oh. absolutely love it. If even if your golf is poor that day, the walk is worth it. Just the surroundings, the beauty of everything here in the uh, old volcanic crater. What shape do you hit? Do you draw it? Ideally, you want to do that into the camber. The wind has lulled. Yeah, so you want to be a natural drawer if you're going to do that. So, as you mentioned, right there, it's a tough fairway to find. Nicely done. Just a little bit soft, so at the moment, fairways are probably slightly easier to find, but it will firm up. The flag set all the way back in the back tongue. You can't see the bottom of the flag on elevation change of four yards. That's about it. So. 163 playing 167, probably two yards, maybe three. You can allow for 170. So it's just a poke. But most players don't get it back. He's got himself a 9 iron altitude and all that malarkey. So it's a, it's a good 9 iron, even though it is only 170. You could almost tend this flag for him right yeah, it's a big hit. Not sure of this club. It's okay now. Just a shot in it. Decent amount of break on this for Homer down the hill. Yeah, it's really hard to get that. Almost hard to miss that left. It's always going to feed right. Work to do. Not to be. Uh, Victor Perez. This for par for Homer. This one has a little movement left to right as well. Not an easy putt, but well hold. 
he rolls it as good as anyone. Never ever seems to bobble off the face for Homer. It's back to its direction of it originally was in, which is down, which is fantastic news. I can't see yourself, even though it's 216, but everything factored in, it's 190. Um, you know, thin air, you've got to be thinking it's a flat out of eight iron. It's just a, a fiddly seven. Just right of it, you would think. Which it is. Perfect club. Job done. And a good look coming for the world number eight in search of his first birdie of the day. Maybe coming next. You have to learn. Straight up the hill, pretty firm with it. It's as big as a bucket. It's two from two. Homer Simpson. Both of these players being talking about, you know, the, the less than perfect preparation. You get that in golf. Came on Monday, got rained out. Tuesday, Max Homer said that he was a, a little bit panicky to try and start hitting shots. It's just the nature of playing. All right. All right. Jay. Yeah, and this is a hard tee shot for Homa because it slopes left to right. His natural shot is left to right. So it just kind of it wants to work into the right rough. And I think he got that started a little too far to the right. But yes, I mean, a new course for Homa and Thomas. There's a lot of local knowledge here at Gary Player Country Club. So it might take them a couple days, but expect a great weekend from both of them. This ball is sitting up like a coconut. It's just absolutely perfect. Needs to whip it up over a tree. It shouldn't jump. The angle's fantastic. So it's all good. To 10 feet then, to Homer. Ah, uh, 12. Okay. Oh, he's still got it right on. It's like riding a bike. Radar? Good chance. Right here, Jay, for Max Homer. Your fellow countryman. Left to right. Very conventional putting grip. Rolls the rock beautifully. Just runs out of pace. Greens are perfect this week. But the whole course is perfect. Let's check this swing out. I mean, the leg stays so still and he just turns around his spine. It's Copy this, kids, girls and boys. If you want to play the tour, just copy this swing. And you'll, do, you'll do just fine. Yeah, he doesn't over-golf it, does he? Plays with what he's got. Finds fairways, finds greens. Putts great. Not a bad combination. It's like you, Tony, actually. It's a beauty. Just a full wedge. Now, if he hits a full wedge with altitude, 149, he's got to think about coming back into that draft thinking about the spin he doesn't want this to back up too much the one thing that's going to help he's on a down slope it'll flatten it out naturally outside chance other there's two that know what they're doing won the uh, World Cup rugby just a couple of weeks ago Homer tee shot out to seven oh. and there you see further evidence just simplicity Putt to miss on the right. It actually breaks towards the back of the green there, Tony. It's a putt that often tricks the players. Yeah, it does. We've got the benefit from the high camera of seeing the color of the green. The dark green into it into us indicates the green was going left to right. That is perfect down the middle of the fairway with the three wood from Homer. Yeah. One of our 
co-leaders for Vaughn over to Homer. Can he tuck it in tight? Up the hill at the eighth. Very efficient golf swing and a great result. Down the out of his left. Really quick. Nice, perfectly orthodox putting grip. Reverse overlap. You see an orthodox putting grip these days, you think there must be something wrong with this guy, is he? What's he doing? He doesn't look like he's trying to strangle a snake. Loving your work, man. I'm starting at up. Towards that bunker with a little bit of a draw. It's perfect. On the short grass, walking down it for us out there today is Iona Stephen. And we hear she's got Justin Rose with her now. Max Homer here, he is an embracing this week here in South Africa. Second on the way. He hits it with a nice draw and that's uh, successfully on the green. Well done. Just a beautiful action, isn't it? In perfect sync. Never tries to get too much out of it. Swings within himself. Great balance. That's held the back edge, just. This is right to left up the hill. He'll need to give this a good old hit to get it up there, whole side, but it is for an eagle. Got to have the putter to be a champion. Well done, Max Homer. Crowd appreciating the fact that he's made the effort to come out. Oh, and it's three under par as well, make it look quite easy. The world number eight. Given uh, the miss at the ninth, ball on the way, back on the tee for Homer. Do you know whose backswing that doesn't remind me of, Hazy? Yours. It's that, he's got that slow, gradual build-up. You had the fastest backswing I ever saw in my entire career. So maybe an 8-iron, a 7-iron to advance, a 2-3-2, two, two, so let's work it out if he hits it. I don't know, 150. Um, that'll be great if he gets cute with it. He can get it down there with to about 50 or 60, but if he's going to play that shot, he needs to use the left-hand side of the fairway to open the angle up. The flag is set over there, back right. If you're here, Rado, what kind of shot would you want to leave yourself? A full one or a little field shot? No, I like, I'd like 80 yards perfectly. You know, ideally, I'd like 80 yards. Sick. Hit the face. And he's been very fortunate for it to come out. Hey. Good Gary play a country club. Yeah. That could have stuck and been back down in the bunker next to Fleetwood's ball. Yeah, I can see him, yeah. It takes a, a brave man to take this flag on. Where you don't want to go is right there. seem to be lying too badly he might actually be okay he had a delicate little shot to max homer he did a good job of it it was awkward coming down breeze which has just picked up the breeze comes and it goes doesn't want to move a whole lot this part for a five after colliding with the fairway bunker face that is a very very good birdie for Max Homer, he gets to minus three. Huh. The opportunities to play worldwide golf are a little bit more so by venturing here. Oh, great oh, very much so. We all have a role to play through our time. And you know, the people that I've been involved with, particularly in my era, we did so much for charity. You know, built hospitals and schools and did more. And now I'm nearly 90. 
I still shoot par, but I go to the forward tees now because I want to enjoy my game. And you're absolutely right. And that's why tee construction is vital and people mustn't be proud. You know, but the one thing about golf, in tennis, if I played McEnroe or Djokovic and I love tennis, I'd never win a point in a year. But golf, they can beat you as many times as you can beat them for our handicapping system. Yeah, pin high right for Max Homer, as I understand as well. And I asked him that question, and I said to him, who's the greatest golfer you ever saw? And, you know, you're expecting either Tiger or Nicholas. Yes. That's what most people would say. Yeah. He, he said, definitely Hogan. No question. No question. And then I said, and next? He said, well, maybe Nicholas. I said, but what about Tiger? He said he couldn't drive the ball on the fairway. He could never be the greatest. No, and Tiger was the best player, but he's not, because he doesn't have it on paper. Nicholas has it on paper. You know, I'm sick and tired of people, how good he drives, how far he hits it. What's on paper? That's how you judge who the best is. And I tell you what, but Hogan, man, another man who was underrated, Bobby Jones. We're just doing a new book. And I had an historian help me. Bobby Jones won the Grand Slam in four months. Yeah, the, the birdie part ahead of Max Homer and Radar. Ooh. Nearly. Gave it a go. So close, uh, but no cigar for Max Homer there. For Homer at 12. Going on beautifully. Just three behind Hoy Gart. Strides it in. Tree on the left that you see with a canopy. I don't actually mind that there. You really take three out of play, but if you can find the fairway, it really does, like you mentioned, break the back of it. So just a, a fairway would. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Play. Nice play. Well, it was a three wood off the tee at 13 from Max Homa. Elevation change once more. Have all the yards died on this golf course? Playing around 160 yards. The angle's all good. It's just a matter of where the flag is tucked today. Over a yawning deep bunker, just short. So just left of it, one would expect, leaving it under it. A little bit of a wide shot there for Holman. That's going to be a long, difficult putt for Birdie at 13. Hoygar leads the way with that 66 in the clubhouse in the first round. This be quite a good two putt up the hill. Tough one to judge. Hang on. Have you noticed his trouser legs are a little short? I don't know if they're long shorts or short longs. It's the thing now, these guys, they all like to show off their socks. Might have got holes in them. Home after a Aggressive first putt. This is a comebacker for par. I agree, Tony. Uh, I agree, Anthony. It, it's a situation. There's so many different type of tee shot shapes. They're not all going to suit your eye here. Tommy's ball didn't run an inch. Just dug its toes in and just stuck. Bounced up and down like a kangaroo. I think Max will do well to get it up to that shot. Yeah, he did. Same sort of spot and same sort of result. This fairway is quite wet down the left-hand wing. It shouldn't be because this fairway cambers from left to right, so the water should fall down the hill. It hasn't. Well, Max knows he can reach as well. Similar length they are off the tee and with every club through the bag, Fleetwood and Max Homer. What shape will he hit? I think it'll be a go-to right to left draw to get everything out of the shot. Absolutely nailed it. Got that fringe to contend with, but yeah, the back edge sort of juts in. There's a little tongue that encroaches into the green. So he's got this one. He's got 16 feet of room up there on the plateau. So how much spin can he get? There you go. That's the way he played. It's like oh. that. It's pretty cool, that one. Pretty good off that slope. That was beautifully played. 
wasn't rushed. Here this week, out to 14 this ahead of Homer. Not much left for his birdie at the par five. <laughs> to four under he goes. What shape do you want to hit? Most players will see this as a straightaway hole. But most players will see it down the left side to the right edge of the, the fairway bunker and just peel it off there gently. A beautiful rotation of the body, top half, just all in sync. Some players you watch their arms, they don't look connected to the body. Him is a completely opposite homer. He wonderful to watch. I can't see it being an issue today, Dale, with no wind, just a hanging leg, ball slightly below his feet, and that's what you want. You wouldn't like it on an upslope with a flag over there on the right-hand side. The green tilts 15 feet to the left of it towards the flag, so if he wants, he could just hit a gentle fade with a wedge and then just spin it towards it. I expect one of these three to make themselves a birdie three. When you watch that swing from behind, you look at that and think the game should be quite easy because it's just so economical, isn't it? There's no extra moving parts. It's just back and through. A little bit of left to right. This green tilts as the players play the hole from left to right. Not a big breaker, but one he will really fancy. Perfect read. From me or him? Both. You're never wrong, Wayne. <laughs> Mr. Magoo. Is he brave enough to hold it off a little? He's setting up to the heart of it. Somewhere between that first ball, which is 20 feet left of it, and the flag. And just peel it and fade it a little. Right between those, the flag and the, that ball. It's a gathering area. Most players will finish in the same kind of spot unless you get really seriously brave. Hole in one, beautiful motor on Sunday. So you don't want to make a one today. We want to make a one any day, I know that. But Sunday, that'll be really nice. Yeah, the gently uphill here on this par three. It isn't a big, big green. It isn't a long hole. It's one of my favorite par threes, hugging the water on the left-hand side. Pretty straight up the hill, out of the right, so it's double breaker. And just for the last six or seven feet of its journey, it might want to wander from left to right, just maybe. Even though the grain is all over the place. The grain to read it on this green. Gets the measure and then some. Max Homer to five under par. Watch that space. A little bit of hurt out of the right, which is ideal. Because you can aim at that third bunker and just hold it up a little and that wind will just stun it a little. But today, when the wind blows here, it's one of those holes that you think is a well, pass a really good score. Sure, today no wind, pass a good score, but it's a gift today. You won't play this wonderful 17th at Gary Player Country Club any easier. Yeah, it's all about the tee shot. Once you get the tee shot in play in the fairway, as Wayne just said, this is a uh, green light special, short iron, especially with the back right hole location kind of away from the water. There's a deep bunker over to the right, which will certainly be in play one day. 155, will he see the shot that I described? Moronk didn't. He's taking dead aim as well. He needs to get a hustle on. So a blanket over there. Up there at 17th green. Back to 17 in Homa for birdie. Oh, goodness. Looked like it couldn't go anywhere else other than the hole. Fine effort. That ran over it almost, didn't it, from the angle? Just the par. He left himself too long of a second shot in. Tee shot at 18 for Homer with the three wood. Yeah, it's the right play as well. As a guy in the gallery comes by, past with a refrigerator full of drumsticks. Being hot out here. Perfection. You might just see a birdie from one of these players. Tommy's okay, Tommy fans, so don't 
panic about him being in the bunker. It's all good. We will get to that. It will be a fast pat if Bakers can't be choosers with that front flag. Probably the hardest flag, I think. Homer, next start is for Birdie to join the lead. Down the hill, it's a quickie, slightly out of his way. way to finish the day and to join the lead. Flawless, really. Not a bogey in sight. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.